All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, greetings and salutations to Yahakim that are pushing the word in truth and sincerity. All right. This is Yahakwab out of the command of Great Millstone, Atlanta Church. <clears throat> with a lesson of exhortation, edification to the nation of Israel. Trust in the Lord. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 115, verse 9. O Israel, trust thou in Yahweh. He is their help and their shield. So what does that mean? <clears throat> the Lord is our protection. I am pretty sure Magan the shield uh, and then um, Isar for help. Let's get, matter of fact, let's go into it. See, Isar, which means help, succor. All right, one who helps and aid. All right, and he's what? <coughs> he's the grant of our, he's the grantor of our daily bread. He clothes us. He cleanses us spiritually and physically. All right. <clears throat> gives us understanding. It gives us pleasure. It gives us woman. <clears throat> you know? Verse 10. O house of Aaron, trust in Yahweh. <clears throat> Excuse me. In one second, please. <clears throat> There we go. All right, so it says, O house of Aaron, trust in Yahweh. He is their help and their shield. All right, which is um, speaking of the priesthood. All right, because to be honest, we are all kings and priests through Yahweh Shah. All right, as far as the elect is concerned. So that's concerning the elect. Because it's speaking of the priesthood, it says your nation is kings and priests in the book of Peter's. Um, it says, um, it is evident our Lord came from the tribe of Judah, in which nothing is proclaimed from priesthood, <coughs> because the sons of Aaron of the priests. But Yahweh Shai is a high priest, which what it opened it up to all of the elect to be priests of the nation of Israel, all the elect men. Mm, you have priestess. <laughs> Yeah, but the woman the women have their lot. We in the nation of Israel we have um priests, but a a wife of a priest would be a priestess, but it would be in her lot, not um, you know, exercising, you know, certain uh of course, you know, lots as a biblical priest would. Okay, but she would be familiar with the herb, she'll be familiar with the scriptures and she would be familiar with what is pleasing to the Lord according to um her position. You know, and that's what the that's essentially that's going the elect women of a priest is not in the sense of you know putting forth a, a she a he goat on the altar, but they are uh, the wives the women of the elect are going to be wives of the um, elect man, all right, wives and daughters, <clears throat> all right, which are of the nation of Israel by the way, okay. The seed of David. Verse 11, it says, Ye that fear Yahweh, trust in Yahweh. He is their help and their shield. Verse 12, Yahweh hath been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. It's being made very clear. He will bless the house of Aaron, which is the priesthood. And that's also including the Levites. All right. All of Israel will be saved. In due season, but two thirds. You go to the book of, uh, and this is what we mean when we say two thirds. Let's go to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oftentimes we we say two thirds, uh, but people are not familiar with what that terminology means. So let's show you. Let's go to it. This is Zechariah chapter thirteen, verse eight. All right. It says, um, <clears throat> verse eight. It says, and it shall come to pass. That in all the land, 
all of the land, singular, which is speaking of America, the land of America, <clears throat> Arataza, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, because two parts of the nation of Israel uh, shall be cut off and die in America via the, the destruction, the plagues, and ultimately the missiles. All right, should be cut off and die, but the third should be left therein. And that's the third is the elect, the one third of the nation of Israel dwelling in the provinces of Babylon. All right, verse nine, <clears throat> and I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. And that tri trial period is starting right now. Remember the scripture says, "Yahweh shall say, and after the tribulation of those days." This the trial period is now and in Jacob's trouble, in which we're about to commence or uh, engulf ourselves in with these draconian measures. And when you have to stand up like the Maccabees did, we are not compromised with you demons. When you come with the chip, when you come with the mandatory measures of um, unrighteous decrees, in which it is not lawful for a Hebrew to do. When you seek to defile our temple and, and, and recalibrate and restructure our DNA so we can be vegetable-like subjects for you, that's when you see the Lion of Judah rise up. It is written, who shall arouse him? It's not the Lord of hosts' his name who has comforted and delivered the nation of Israel time and time again. So you make your move, best believe the Lord is going to increase us and make his move. All right. Matter of fact, let me let's finish this. It says, "Gold is tried." It says, "They shall call on my name," but IUIC tells you not to call on the name. Now they're saying, "Don't we're not Hebrew Israelites? These people are obviously the false prophets." How is it not clear to you, people? These people obviously don't have the spirit. They they don't say the name of the Lord in the Hebrew. They call, but they'll, but they'll call him Christ. They say we don't have the Hebrew. They said, we don't know if that's his name in the Hebrew. But they'll call him Jesus, which they obviously know is not his name. They, they, they're familiar with the 1611 Bible. They're familiar with the absence of the J in the 1611 Bible. The absence of the J. Because, so, it's not, that's not his name. He said, call on my name. All right? Which his name is not Jehovah. Is not, they, are, they are what? Jesus Christ. Lord's going Lord's to destroy you niggas, man. The Lord is going to destroy you people, man. This is not a game. This is very, this is detrimental to your health. Not putting the name of the Heavenly Father as a priority. And then they mock the name, call them Yope Yoga. You obviously know your family's going to pay for it. You obviously know that, you know. If, if it's in your subconscious or your, um, your uh, direct conscious, it is known. And it should be made manifest. And to all, all right. <clears throat> it says they shall be. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they shall say Yahweh is my God. Mm. And let's let's see who this is speaking of. Is this what nation is this speaking of? Well, let's go to the book of Hosea. Well, this this is how we read the Bible. For those of us, for those of you all who are not familiar with the Hebraic language and, and lingo, this is how we conduct ourselves in managing the Bible. We go precept upon precept, all right? And then we do line upon line. And if necessary, we'll go here a little and there a little. You see? Now, this is Hosea chapter... Yep, this is, this is it right here. This is the book of Hosea chapter 1. <clears throat> Verse 10, it says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass, which is prophecy, prophetis, to say before, prophetis. All right, and it's coming to pass what? At this hour. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. Hey, the, <coughs> does America look at us? As being the people of God, they respect us. Do they look at? The, they call them North American Indians. They put them on reservations. 
even though the History Channel just came out, I believe two weeks ago, with a documentary it was showing the archaeology, Bat Creek Stone, and Los Lunas on the documentary. It's on YouTube right now. I just saw 166,000 views of it, which re the 166 represents the Abrahamic Covenant. All right. But it's obvious, even, even they are making documentaries and what? People esteem it to no regard. And guess what? On the document, they're going to put a spin to it, try to make it look like it's the Jewish, like it's Jewish people, man. When you obviously, it wasn't no white people over here, man. It was no Edomites over here. It was Gadites. It was, it was Israelites. You demons. You putting on the imagery when you make your documentary, uh, Jewish people, so-called Jews. What, how the fuck? Where do, where do you get so-called Jews out of Native American Indians? Where do you get that from? Pulling up a goddamn Edomite woman. I'm not even gonna get to to that, man. That documentary was pissing me off, man. You, the, the truth is, in, see, they try. That's what the serpent do, man. He tried to cast out that water, man. You can't destroy the, um, the elect, man. The elect will not be overcome by your philosophies, man. They will never be overcome by the philosophies of Satan. All right. It says, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons, plural sons, banyam, of the living God, ma'chaya alahayam, I'm pretty sure it says, as you see, why mar said laham to them, banya, the sons, al Chaya, sons, banya al, al ban, excuse me, banya Allah, which is sons of power, and then chaya, living, living power. Allah chaya, all right? And that's at the last line of um, Hosea 1 and 10. And see, and we, in Great Millstone, we're diligent, we get into the Hebrew, we take, we put on that skin, we don't peel the flesh off, we don't leave the marrows open. The book of Ezekiel said, it said they put on flesh. It said, there, but there was no breath in them. And see, these people had, they, they, that's coming from those people who came out of one west who had the truth. They had the flesh, but they didn't put the breath in them, which came through the apostles of Great Millstone. And now what are they doing? Now they're peeling back the flesh. Now they're saying that they're not Hebrew Israelites. Now they took back the name. Oh, the name of the Lord is not Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Now we're just going to call on Jesus Christ, man. You guys are, you guys are on the wrong side of prophecy, man. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. You're on the wrong side of prophecy. Living God, man. So, and the point also I want to um, speak on is that term sons. So, <coughs> Muslims, you you um, you heretical infidels, uh, you you like to speak on the fact. And actually, that's what even in Arabic, that's where the word comes. It comes from the Hebrew word bun. Before it was bin, it was bun. It comes from the ibaria, from the Hebrew. At that, first Quran wasn't even written in Arabic, but I digress. The point is, they profess that the Lord, that the Heavenly Father didn't have a son. What we see here in the Old Testament, which y'all say y'all believe in, where it's sons and plural. The children of Israel, the sons of Israel, the sons of Jacob have always been considered the sons of God. Yashar Allah is our name in the Hebrew, which means Israel, which meaning he is a prince of the power. He has power with God. So what is a prince to a king? Or to a guy, it's a, it's a son. To the, the, the prince is the son of the supreme authority of the land. So he's a prince of the power. And what is power? Power meaning God. So he's the son of God, man. And that's who we are. And you, you know, it's nothing you, you Ishmaelite Arabs, nothing you nation of Islam niggas, nothing you, you fucking bonehead ass Muslims can do about it, man. And Ava Bibbins will be uh, uh, reinstated and, uh, and, re and revenge you for your folly, man. And for, and, and, and for the murder and the bloodshed that you have committed to the nation of Israel, man. All right, to the, to the prophets. You have offended the little ones. Yahweh Shah himself said it's better that a millstone that has been attached to his neck and he sink to the bottom of the sea than he offend one of these little ones, one of the sons. Ye are none of his. Matter of fact, let's get it. You're heretics, man. Heretics. This is the book of John, chapter 8, 
verse 23. And he said unto them, ye are from beneath. I am from above. Ye are of this world. I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in, in your sins. And what do the Muslims say, man? I'm on these fucking infidels now. What do they say? He is not the, he's the son of Mary, all this and that. This, this Christian concocted religion, Catholic, um, um, it's, it's a baby, uh, it's a baby religion in the arm off of um, the Catholic church, man. A bunch of madness, man. You fucking moon worshipers. You go back to the, um, the usage of Allah for the, uh, for the, um, um, for the Arabs during the time of Muhammad. Allah was the Persian moon god. That's why you worship the moon during Ramadan. Being dismayed at the signs of heaven, which Jeremiah strictly warned and commanded Israel not to uh, indulge in. I'll stand at the moon, moon. All y'all flags got moons and stars on it because you worship Luna, you heretics, you hypocrites. You worship Luna, don't you? You worship Semiramis, don't you? Calling it Allah. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we understand your history. We know you nothing, you nothing but some, some foul infidels and the Lord's going to destroy you niggas, man. But Israel, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Trust in Yahweh by Shimei That's his name. Not no Allah this and that. That's not his name. His name is Yahweh by Shimei Fucking demons. You cannot come up against this truth, man. And see, look, they trying to bastardize it in this. This is why we go back into the Hebrew. The King James is just what we use. You, you infidels don't realize that we go into the Hebrew. We go into the Greek. We got the Septuagint. We got the Pseudepigrapha. We got all these sources, man. All right? And in, in the Bible, and the scriptures, and the, and the canon stands firm. In the name of the Lord is important in Hebrew. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 26, verse 4. Trust ye in Yahweh forever, for in the Lord Yahweh is everlasting strength. So let's get what that said in Hebrew and when it said Lord Yahweh. Uh, but, uh, trust by, by uh, Yahweh. All right, so uh, the first word is uh, batach wa. All right, batach meaning trust. Tr tr then wa, I believe, is him. Um, ba meaning in, as you can see in the second word, ba Yahweh. If you pronounce if you pronounce that properly in the Hebrew, that's Yahweh. Ba Yahweh, which means in Yahweh. Um, ad ya meaning forever. Oh, ad ya ad, which means forever. Um, kaya for ba ya. So sometimes in the heat, that's what you get the term Yah from. But sometimes, especially David, he'll say Yah Yahweh. It's like a term, an entitlement of Yahweh, but his proper name is Yahweh. But right here you have, when it says, that's why it has both caps, both Lord and Yahweh in caps, because both of them are the name of the Lord, but chiefly Yahweh. It says, Ba Yah Yahweh. So in Yah, in yah Yahweh. All right. Ba Yah Yahweh. So it's kind of like saying, not to make it a Hebrew lesson, but it's um, essentially saying the Lord's name, man. All right. Showing you the importance of the name. That's why they have it in bold, man. Okay. And you see they have Jehovah, which they don't have the truth. The scripture, the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. It's not for them to use the name of the Lord. They don't. That's not their possession. The Lord is our inheritance. All right. Okay. Remember, the Lord is our inheritance. We are made it unto the Lord. We are his sons. That's why we take his last name and that's why we understand the spirit. All right. Not these infidels, man. They don't have the spirit, man. But we're supposed to trust in your house by Shemiah Bashai. Isaiah chapter 50, verse 10. Who is among you that fear of Yahweh, that obey of the voice of his servant, that walk of in darkness? And has no light. Let him trust in the name. Let him trust in the name. Let him trust in the name. Let him trust in the name of Yahweh. And stay upon his God, his power. Let him trust in the name, man. The name is important. 
You infidels, you hypocrites. Nate, Satan, you're a demon. All you niggas who still using that term Christ and Jesus, you're demons, man. Lord's going to destroy you for worshiping other gods, man. His name is Yahweh. How the hell you think we're at the end of the world and we're still going to be calling them false names? Scripture says we should turn them into a pure language. Well, I guess not you guys. I guess not you. Fucking hypocrites. Trump's in which name is Shum. Reputation, fame. You're not going to give him glory? So you tell me you're not going to give him glory. Calling him his name is giving him glory. You don't, you see him, um, CEOs, they might not call no, no employee by their name. They got number tags for their employees. They got badges for their damn employees. All right? But and that's what Esau is trying to do as well, you damn demon. You're going to fail miserably. All right? But how much more so the Heavenly Father in that reverse aspect of him being the CEO of us, him being the jefe, him being the padron, him being the supreme power, of course, they would recognize, they don't recognize the CEO of a, of a company by no bark damn code. He don't got no badge. They know him by his name. Okay? We, Home Depot, Arthur Blank. You know, you know what I'm saying? And it was, that's how we supposed to entitle Yahweh by Shem Yahshah. And you ain't calling no, you're not calling Arthur Blank. You, when you say Arthur Blank, you ain't, you ain't saying Arthur. You is not calling this man Arthur. If somebody referring to Arthur Blank, they're going to say Arthur Blank. And so we say Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Racha Kudash. In the Holy Spirit, as it is instructed by Yahweh Shai himself. All right? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Racha Kudash. So long, keep the faith.